Hello and welcome back. Uh, it's the Geeky Minecrafter and today we're going to take a look at a couple things. I discovered when I was down in the mines some lava and I'm going to use that lava to build myself an incinerator up here. Now at night I kind of block these off because as you can see I have really pushed the edge out to uh, the edge of the mountain. I've added a lot of glass and this is uh, eventually going to be you know the area where I entertain. Uh, I do like being able to see out all the way around and I'm going to continue this all the way around the mountain. So that will be uh, that'll be fun. So while we're down in the mine I don't like to uh, let the zombies come in and wander unattended so I am going to block those off. I do have uh, an additional chest room that I added in here and as you can see I have been mining. Um, I've got, uh, let's see, here we go. Oh. Uh, I found six diamonds, more than that in the way of uh, iron because I've been using them to make iron pickaxes. 19 gold, some lapis, and quite a bit of redstone. I found like a lava flue um, that is, uh, it looks like a ravine. The lava is just flowing. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you in just a second. And I think um, all around there is quite a bit of, um, quite a bit of precious minerals. Now my wheat farm's doing good. I knocked it out one more notch. Um, uh, I do have some wheat that I'm gathering up. I'm baking some bread. Uh, I had 19 wheat left over and 56 seeds. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, throw a few seeds down uh, on my way out. Now to harvest this, I don't know if I mentioned this before. <clears throat> Basically to harvest it, you just knock it down. And if it's ready, it'll throw seeds and the wheat. If it's not ready, it's, you just pick the seed back up. So uh, I do have a bucket of water on each side that's keeping everything hydrated. Water will flow, or hydrate rather, four blocks wide, even diagonally. So, you know, technically I could have come all the way across, but um, I was interested in keeping this pathway open because this is going to be my back door out to the tree farm. I'm not quite ready for that yet. I don't have enough iron to build my iron doors. Uh, and I, I really kind of need to make this a fortress. So here's what's going on down in the mine. Let me go down and show you. Let's see, do I have my bucket with me? Yeah, because I want to bring back some uh, lava for the incinerator. Come on. I don't know about you guys, but I have trouble going down this hole. Any stinking hole. Come on, why? There we go. I don't know what it is. You got to get it lined up just exactly right, or things go south in a hurry. I am going to pull my sword out. I do have a couple places that I passed that um, have some uh, caves in them, <laughs> and you know that's that's all open to the to the public, as it were. Uh, it might uh, might yield me a zombie or two. So one thing I am doing when I get to the end of the mine, I am throwing my little block on here. I I can get through. And I can look to see if there's anybody down there I need to be concerned about. But uh, these two mine shafts that I'm working, I, there were no penetrations, so I'm not too worried about those. These two did have penetrations out to the lava flow. So as a matter of fact, that's one of the things we're going to do. I'm going to go down there and get a bucket of lava. Um, and I'm going to use this one. Let's see. Please tell me I have enough. I do. Uh, now you can, I can hear it gurgling around me. So there is a lava pool at least somewhere down this hall I have found um, diamonds and iron and coal in uh, plentiful areas right down here now on the other side of this is that flu and as you can hear there are zombies on the other side so I'm going to penetrate once and I'm going to peek through I hear them but see I've got coal and redstone And frankly, I really hate to fight a battle right here over lava, but I, I do need the bucket of lava. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. Uh, so I can run out there, grab some lava, and come back in. I, I just want to build the incinerator and show you that. So let's peek. Okay, so they're probably up high. Got the lava. 
let's head back in. Let's throw down our protection. I'm throwing down gravel, it looks like, and that's okay. So I've got that lava. Now, basically, when you're in Minecraft, if you throw something down, if you drop it, and you're standing close to it, it's going to jump back into your inventory. What I want to do is create an incinerator that will allow me to throw the things away that I want to throw away and keep the things that I want to keep, obviously. An incinerator I'm going to make out of lava and uh, a hole in the wall, basically. Uh, now, I could do that down here. As a matter of fact, I probably should, and then go get another bucket of, of lava. Uh, this is going to extend out my three wide for my main shaft, so I don't want to go down there. Um, I guess we'll do it right. I guess we'll do it right here. Okay, I want one, two, three. So I'm going to skip over that one because I, I do want to keep it kind of closed in. Is this dirt? Let me grab a shovel. Oop, good grief. No, it's not dirt. That is like granite. Well, that's fine. Oh, I did not mean to open that one up. Good grief. One, two, let's, what I want to do is go too deep, and three high, one, two, three, one, two, three, too deep, okay, I think that's going to work, I am going to knock this wall out just a little bit further, Another axe bites of dust. Okay. Now basically what I'm going to want is right up here, I'm going to want to dump that lava. And I'm going to want to get out of here pretty quick. So I'm going to leave this open so I can get out. And then I'm going to throw this dirt, or actually probably this... No, let's get some cobblestone. My stupid W key keeps moving. Oh, there's some. Okay, you know it doesn't really keep moving, right? <laughs> okay, let's let's replace this with cobblestone. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two. Okay, and I'm gonna leave through this exit and I'm gonna drop the lava right there. Lava will flow down and it will fill this little area up. So I'm going to drop the lava and leave, grab the cobblestone and fill it up. Now as you can see it's now a falling waterfall of um, lava. That means anything that I want to throw in here like this gravel if I drop it, see it's going to burn it up. So this is a way for me to get rid of the stuff I don't want to. Now I do need another incinerator, one upstairs for the same reason. So I am going to go with my bucket back down to the end of that hall and grab some more and then uh, head upstairs and build one upstairs. I'll check back in with you in a minute. Alrighty then, welcome back. Um, basically all I did was exactly what I said. I ran down that long hall. I uh, pulled out some lava and resealed it and ran back down here. Just checking to make sure that uh, my house hasn't been compromised. It is night. And I don't like uh, I don't like leaving these open at night. Uh, again, you know, just making sure that they can't get in. I can hear them. I can hear them moving around, and that noise is freaky enough without having to worry about them being able to get in. So now we just need to decide where we're going to put this uh, incinerator. One, two, three. I don't quite have enough room there, do I? One, two. One, two, three. Uh, I think I do on the edge of this room. Although it, it makes sense to have it where we're crafting. So what I may do... How close am I? I'm right on that edge, aren't I? Um, gosh, I hate to be so indecisive. Uh, but I think I am. I, I need a minute to think about this. So I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Sorry for the delay. Um, I've decided to put it over here in this area, but I am going to push it back a little bit. I do have this front room right up here uh, that I don't want to impede. So I'm not going to come out any further than this. I'm going to let this be like a like an eating area or something. 
Um, so I'm going to push it back, but not a huge amount. Now I have gone ahead and emptied this chest. I've distributed them to the proper chest, so I am going to tear this one down now, pick it up, and move it. Oh, good grief. Right tool for the job is an axe. Takes a lot less time. Ditto my crafting table. Okay, so this is stone. Stone will work. A stone pick will work. And I know I can go three back. So that's one, two. Let's do this. Three. I'm going to go do my counting again, make sure I didn't blow this. Uh, Minecraft is an awful lot of counting. I don't know if you've noticed that, but, you know, I, I'm a Virgo. I'm, I like things symmetrical. Uh, so I count to make sure I'm not blowing it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six total, and if I want the um, lava uh, on the back wall, I can't go back anymore. But you know what? I think I'm going to put it on this wall. Yeah, we'll do that. So I can go back like two more. I think I want to go, let's see, we'll put the lava furnace right here. One, two, three. Nope, changed my mind. I'm going to put the lava furnace right here. We're going to fill this in. I want, um, oh, was that gravel? No, I don't want gravel there. Good grief. I want cobblestone there. Both of these are gravel. So, okay, we'll fill that in in a minute. Do I have any cobble? I do right there. I'm collecting my gravel so I can get rid of it in this uh, in this inferno here. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is going to be my um, incinerator. And let me grab. Uh, do I not have a? Okay, this will work. Okay, so it's two deep, three tall. Okay, make sure my my cobblestone's right here handy. Let's drop the lava and back up. Put the cobblestone down. Oh, come on. Oof, that was close. <laughs> now that does a lot to light this area. I'll put my crafting table and, and uh, all that back here. Now, as you can see, I'm holding um, gravel. So if I just, you know, hold down the Q key, send this all into the incinerator, I no longer have to carry it in my inventory. And I don't know about you, but I can't tell you how many chests I've wasted storing gravel because I couldn't throw it down. So this takes care of that problem. And thank you, Dataless822, uh, I think is his name, Dataless822, for this, uh, this really cool process. I, I never would have thought to do this if I hadn't seen your video. So OK, that's my, my quick video on uh, and believe me, unscripted. That's my quick video on how to build an incinerator. Uh, my home base is coming along. I'll check back in with you. Do remember, I'm waiting to hear if we can do the high def uh, texture pack, uh, if everybody is acceptable with that. Let's get this in the background. Okay. This is Sine, the Geeky Minecrafter, signing out.